Okay, so let's look at February for Delaney 2017. So Delaney bought an adjoining premises on the 1st or 2nd, 2016, which included buildings of 180,000. So our buildings are going to go up by 180,000. Equipment of 50,000. So our equipment is going to go up by 50,000. Our debtors of 12,000. So our debtors are going to go up by 12,000. And our creditors by 20,000. So our creditors are going to go up by 20,000. The purchase price was discharged by granting the seller 200,000 shares in Delaney Limited at a premium of 20 cents per share. So you need to find out what is the share premium. So you're going to take 200,000 and multiply it by 20%. And that's going to be in your liability section. So you're going to have buildings, equipment, debtors all in your assets. You're going to have creditors and you're going to have share premium all in your liabilities. And remember, your assets and liabilities must equal. If they don't, this is what your goodwill is. So we will calculate goodwill as part of incomplete records. So we're going to do the exact same thing here again. So you're going to put all these figures in in your tabular statement as they are. So our buildings are 180,000. So buildings 180,000. Equipment 50,000. Debtors 12,000. Remember, if we have to do depreciation now on our equipment, we're going to have an extra 50,000 on our equipment. So it'll be um, 65,000 if we have to calculate depreciation on equipment. 20,000 down for your creditors, so we're down in our liability section. Now make sure you put these in the correct column, that they're all in the same column. And then our share premium then is 200,000. Multiply that by 20 cent. So 40,000 then. And remember to put in the 200,000 then for the shares that we just issued. So we're going to add up what we have in our assets. So you got 242,000. And we're going to add up what we have in our liabilities. So you got 260, so they're not the same. So the difference up here is called goodwill. And your goodwill is 18,000. And then that's January or February completed. So we put in our information that we have in the question. With this one then, three figures that we don't lose out on. Our issue capital of 200,000. Calculate your share premium. So that's how much share premium you're giving you in the question. So just take the figures in the question and the difference then between your assets and your liabilities. That's your goodwill of 18,000. And that's February completed.